here you are, chairman of a bank, belonging to a different set of ideals. Subscale, sadly. And that was part of our problem. You mean subscale not big enough? No, not big enough at all. So lots of our efforts as well were designed to try and improve the um, ability of the bank to be able to to run an efficient organisation of sufficient scale. So you are saying it's impossible in this country to run a success... No, I, I, you, you, you're, being, you're being too dogmatic. You, okay. you, you are looking at either a white or a black picture and not seeing the complexity of the grey in the middle. It is not impossible. Uh, we, we, we confronted a whole raft of problems. And uh, I believe it could still be possible. And you failed. Yeah, we've failed so far, but we're still there, um, and we didn't actually take any, have to take any government money at any stage, unlike some of the other banks, I have to remind you. Given your background, given the, the ideals of the organisation, yep. personally, you, that must have had a tremendous impact on you, didn't it? Um, with respect, my role was not to worry about the personal impact upon me. Um, I, I'm there in a representative capacity to try and do a job with a range of other people. Well, you are the embodiment of the values of the bank as chairman, aren't you? I'm one of them. I hope yeah. I'm not the only one. Um, I hope that the, the, the organisation as a whole, and I believe it had done, embodied those values. And staff at the time before all this crisis occurred were extraordinarily happy to work with us and for us. Have they been in touch with you, any of them? One or two, but uh, they, they've been politely told by more senior people not to be in touch, but one or two of the braver souls have uh, been in touch personally. You've yes. been cast into the outer darkness almost. Uh, well, um, I, I believe that even in Dante's Inferno there is the possibility of you crawling out of the pit. Well, all right, let me use a, let me use a religious analogy. You've fallen like Lucifer. Um, and where do you find Lucifer in the Bible, Mr. Paxman? <laughs> <laughs> um, then comes, of course, all the horrible stuff for you in the, when you're outed with drugs and rent boys and all that stuff. Had you been doing drugs while you were chairman of the bank? Um, forgive me saying so. Um, I think you're aware that uh, there are still some issues to be um, inquired into by the police and uh, that is a question that I think has to remain at the moment unanswered but will in due course be answered uh, but is subject to the police investigation. Let me put it another way. Were you involved in drugs, doing drugs, before you became chairman of the bank? No. When you but saw, that doesn't that doesn't answer the, uh, the it doesn't answer the, 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 the no. earlier question. It doesn't. It isn't. And I, and, I, and, I, and I cannot answer it for the moment. I understand, uh, but it does tell us something. Yes. Uh, when you saw what the Mail on Sunday printed about you, mm -hmm. what did you think? The Mail on Sunday and its uh, sister paper um, have printed a lot of things about me. Um, I, I, I remember dear old Michael Foote once describing uh, the, day, the mail group as the Forger's Gazette. Um, I find the mail on Sunday and its pseudo-fascist far-right tendencies which make Vladimir Putin look like a bleeding heart liberal um, utterly abhorrent. And the reality is that um, a considerable amount of what the Mail and Sunday, the Mail on Sunday, have printed, has been pure and utter fiction. But well, why don't you sue them then? Forgive me. Um, suing a newspaper um, is a, a rich person's game, and even if I am right, as I know I am, and I know that they are wrong. Um, I would much rather just treat the whole thing with the 
utter contempt that it deserves. Glorious. But there were stories that were printed that were true. Indeed there were. And they concerned but, drugs. And with respect, those are still the issues which the police are investigating. But given your religious background, do you think you have sinned? Um, forgive me, it's always much more complex than, than that. Of course I have. And uh, I am in company with um, every other human being for having my frailties and some of my fragility exposed. Uh, most people get through life without that ever coming into the public domain. Uh, I am no better and no worse, it seems to me, than uh, any number of other people. Um, but of course I have sinned in that old-fashioned term, which I would rarely use, I have to say. But I'm like everybody else. I'm but, frail. I mean, you know what people think. They think, Paul Flowers, Methodist minister, how on earth does that happen? How does he end up involved with rent boys and drugs? And he's a Methodist minister. And they have not had to live in my skin. They have not bothered to inquire about the other pressures which were upon my life. And I would not wish to talk with them about them because they clearly hold me in complete contempt. Do you want to talk about these other pressures in your life? Um, I can do so very briefly. Um, oh, sure. At the time when things were getting pretty hairy at the bank, um, I had been caring for my mother at home who was dying. With everything else that was going on, um, I was weary and stressed, not least at seeing somebody who I loved die in front of me. And uh, it took a long time. But I would not want to use that as an excuse. It no. simply happens to be a part of the reality that I was facing and which is common to lots of people. Um, most of us have to juggle with a whole raft of different pressures and stresses. Uh, I, it just so happens that I had mm. two or three that all came at the same time. But most of us don't resort to drugs and rent boys. How do you know? What do you most regret about this whole experience? not taking more advice when I should have done at certain points during the th several years. And I think in some ways, and this probably will sound a, a tad bitter, but I think in some ways I've been set up um, to fail in certain areas because of the structures of the cooperative and the way in which they encourage Democrats within the organization to move into particular roles. And then, to be frank, they suck you dry and spit you out at the end of it. Um, no one at the co-op has contacted me at all in any way since I left at the end of May. Paul Lowes, thank you.